So what's going on guys, it's JM at Speedboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click onto any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions of what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel, it is always appreciated. So, there was another fight on the Kelbrook Errol Spence on the card last night that I forgot to talk about. It was on earlier on in the night. It was the Commonwealth heavyweight title fight between Dave Allen and Lenroy Thomas. Dave Allen lost the fight by split decision. Two judges scored the fight 1 1 5, 1 1 4 to Lenroy Thomas, and the other judge scored it 1 1 5 to 1 13 to Dave Allen. And a lot of people after this fight, well, most people after the fight were saying that Dave Allen got robbed. There were some sensible people out there who said that he lost the fight because, in my opinion, he did lose the fight, Dave Allen. And I wanted Dave Allen to win the fight. I thought it would have done his career wonders for him to pick up the Commonwealth title. And that fight was on a plate for him, in my opinion. But he just didn't do anything in terms of landing significant shots in the fight. And I just couldn't score in the fight when, Lan when then Roy Thomas was landing the cleaner, more effective shots in the fight all night long. And yeah, Dave Allen was just walking through them. But they were still landing and they were landing very clean. Whereas Dave Allen was getting up close and smothering his work. And wasn't landing anything clean enough. Yeah, the work rate was there by Dave Allen, but he didn't land any clean shots. Well, anything too significant that the judges could score the round on. And um, Lenroy Thomas was landing flashy combinations, and they're the kind of things that catch judges' eyes in there. And I feel gutted for Dave Allen because he's a nice guy, and I knew that he really wanted to win that title last night in front of 25,000 people at Bramwell Lane it was a big moment for him but he just didn't do enough and to be honest he got a bit sloppy in the later rounds as well I think Dave Allen needs to get down a little bit more in weight because I think 17 stone 10 or whatever he was weighing is way too big for him also I think he needs to work on a few more things technically because Dave Allen just likes to come forward he defends with his face and he just likes to plod forward and land them big heavy shots and I think he needs more weapons in his arsenal to be able to compete at a certain level. And he can come again, Dave Allen, Eddie Hearn, after the fight. Well, when he was interviewed after the whole card, he said that he was very disappointed in Dave Allen. That Dave Allen was going out in the day drinking, well not drinking, but meeting up with fans and stuff like that. When he should have been focusing on the fight with Lenroy Thomas, meeting people in the pubs and stuff like that. And Eddie Hearn's right, if you want to get to a certain level, which you are capable of doing if you just put the effort in. And Dave Allen just didn't seem to put the effort in. But Eddie Hearn's going to give him another date. I think he's going to give him another roll of the dice. And Dave Allen needs to really think about this and get his career refocused. Because he's a fighter with a little bit more improvement. He could get to a certain level and he could be effective at a certain level. I don't think Dave Allen will ever be a world champion or anything like that. But I think... He can still do other things in his career and still make a mark in the sport of boxing if he just tries a little bit more and just takes it a little bit more seriously. So yeah, that's just my opinion on this. I didn't have Dave Allen winning that fight. If you think Dave Allen won that fight, then that's your opinion. But me personally, I just could not score the fight to Dave Allen when then Roy Thomas was landing the more cleaner, effective shots in the fight. So yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Speedboxing.